Now in the previous step we have seen that the BSS sends the order to the OSS and OSS is responsible for the service provisioning related to this order. So in order to deliver this service first OSS needs to, to check with the network inventory if there are su sufficient resources that are available for this service or not. For example if the SIM is available for this user or not or whether there is sufficient capacity in the network in order to activate this service or not. And if it is verified in the network inventory that this service is possible, then the fulfillment of this service is done. That means that this service is activated in the network. So in order to activate this service in the network, the operation support system sends a message to the network and this message contains the parameters that are required for the activation of this service. Now once this service is activated, it is important that this service works flawlessly. So the service assurance is also the responsibility of the OSS and if there is any fault, the customer care related to this service is also the responsibility of the OSS. Now another important aspect of the OSS is the network management and this network management is done using the network management system and this network management system which is also called as the NMS it is used in order to monitor the network so that the network is working flawlessly the performance of this network is good and the service that are being provided by this network those service are also working properly and if there are any faults either in the network or in the services then those faults are also rectified and managed using the NMS. Now here we can see that the operation support system directly interacts with the network. So these activities of the operation support system, we call them as the network facing activities.